So reactions can be very specific at the site of uh, where the inoculation was given. You can get some pain there and you can get some systemic uh, responses as well. So fever or elevated temperature, you can get a headache and fatigue. Um, they're more systemic symptoms that we sometimes see and they're occurring more frequently in younger people than in older adults. Reactions may be unpleasant, but they're usually short-lived and far less serious than what's inflicted by a natural SARS-CoV-2 infection. Vaccines are extensively tested for safety before they're released. Once they are in large-scale use, they're rigorously monitored in post-marketing surveillance systems for unexpected or rare reactions that are too uncommon to have been picked up in clinical trials. And while adverse reactions to a vaccine aren't uncommon, these products wouldn't be licensed if they were likely to be, be severe or long-lasting. So it's mostly the immune system and uh, it responding to the foreign material or the vaccine that's in our body and then mustering the cells and proteins needed to um, form our adaptive immune response um, and then translate that into a memory response. So that the next time the body encounters that same foreign invader, we'll be able to respond faster and with greater specificity. The first dose is sometimes described as priming the immune response and the second dose is sometimes described as boosting it. It often triggers mass production of immune signaling molecules or cytokines that are responsible for the muscle aches, fevers, chills and fatigue recipients sometimes feel. The upside is that the second shot should result in longer lasting and a stronger immune response. Well, at the very least, it's showing that the immune system has recognized this foreign material, the vaccine, and it is responding in a way that it's designed to. So that's a very good thing. That should confer protection against SARS-CoV-2 if it's encountered for real. Taking pain and fever relieving medication when you have these, these symptoms isn't likely to undermine the, the quality of the immune response.